In September 2022, Taiwan's multinational electronics maker Foxconn signed a $19.5 billion deal with India's Vedanta Group. The deal was to set up a semiconductor and display production plant in Gujarat. And less than a year on, this deal has been called off. Why? What were the reasons? Was this a mutual decision? What exactly is the backstory? What really happened? Over the next few minutes, we shall discuss this. Let me start off with Foxconn's decision. This is what the group has said in a statement. Let me quote from it. Foxconn has determined it will not move forward on the joint venture with Vedanta. Foxconn is working towards submitting an application related to modified program for semiconductors and display ecosystem. We have been actively reviewing the landscape for optimal partners. Foxconn is working to remove the Foxconn name from what now is a fully owned entity of Vedanta. So was this decision mutual is the immediate question that arises. Yes, says Foxconn. It says the two sides have mutually made a call to end the joint venture. Last we checked, Vedanta was yet to respond to this statement. Now, many are calling this a blow to India, but is it? Not really. Foxconn says it remains committed to India that it will still utilize India's chip making incentive scheme, meaning that it will continue to be in India, just that it will be finding other partners. The center also has made it absolutely clear that the move will have no impact on India's plans. It has further added that the company remains a valued investor in the country. All said and done, what exactly led to the deal being called off? Well, the answer is Vedanta's financial situation. You see, the group's London-based parent company, Vedanta Resources, has been plagued by a surging debt pile. It still has to repay debt worth $2.2 billion in this financial year, which started on the 1st of April. And this debt, by the way, also includes total principal requirements of $1.3 billion, along with interest or intercompany loans. And a big chunk of this $1.3 billion is a $1 billion bond that is due in January next year. What is Vedanta doing to resolve this debt crisis then? Well, the conglomerate is largely relying on brand monetization, refinancing and transfer of general reserves to retained earnings to meet its repayment timelines. But giving it a hard time further are ratings agencies. They have downgraded the company this year amid concerns about risks of a debt default, but the group remains optimistic. Its chairman, Anil Agrawal, has said that there have been no defaults on debts from the group. And that's not all. The Vedanta Group also is pursuing other partners. Let me quote from its official statement. We have lined up other partners to set up India's first foundry. We still continue to grow our semiconductor team. And we have the license for production-grade technology from a prominent integrated device manufacturer. In the year 2017, it signed a deal to build a factory in North America, the state of Wisconsin to be precise. This deal was supposed to bring 13,000 manufacturing jobs to the US, 13,000. The facility was supposed to be so big that the US president called it the eighth wonder of the world. But this never happened. The plan did not transpire due to uncertain reasons. And it does not end there. Foxconn is currently being sued in the US by ailing EV automaker Lordstown Motors. Why? Well, due to consistent failure to live up to its commercial and financial commitments. At least that is what Lordstown Motors is saying. So in a way, both the companies who signed this deal are facing their own respective challenges. And this pretty much explains why the deal may have collapsed. 
We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.